I want to introduce my very dear special friend, Leo Fang. Um, and the topic today we're discussing is, you know, deep breathing helps to cure COVID. And I believe in the most profound way. And it's, there's publications now that have been publishing this, but I learned about it because I've been, you know, connecting and training with Leo since 2006. And deep breathing was the thing that really changed my life. Um, I got I had parasitic pneumonia, traced back to the Gulf War. I'm a veteran and I almost died in the hospital. And Leo was saying to me, um, you know, if you don't deep breathe, you're not going to make it. You know, the antibiotics and this oxygen machine was not enough. I says, but I only have one lung. He said, well, use the lung that works. And I did that. And I got to tell you that two years after that, it took me two years to recover. It was a lot of pain in my lungs too. And I, I, the breathing was hard. I was able to go underwater in a pool to the other side. I was in better shape than ever in my life. I went from dying from parasites in my body to best shape in my life. And then again, a year ago with COVID, which felt like a pain that was inside out. It was so crazy what this was. It was just different. I was like, this is, this is really something special. Like, I'm like, what is this thing that's in me? And once again, the deep breathing, I deep breathed my way through it. Eight days, both times, the parasitic pneumonia, which I felt was a notch up worse than COVID. And then COVID, eight days, both times, one in the hospital, eight days, eight days, I was confined to my bedroom. Um, and like by the eighth day, it was like, it just like left my body. And I was like, this is incredible. And my, of course, my wife, who's a naturopathic doctor, that helps, right? You know, with all the herbal medicines and, of course, the love. Um, but the deep breathing, that's the root. And there's a lot of research now they've done in the medical community to prove it. And it's out there now. So that being said, um, Leo Fang, deep breathing relates to Qi Fang, which is the, the system that I learned from you, which is really simple system of using deep breathing, super slow martial art movement, very basic martial art movement and um, super slow movement, deep breathing and light weights. The light weights that teach us to be, you know, weightless. We're not using it for strength training, we're using it for breath. Yeah. So please uh, inspire us with Qi Feng and deep you breathing. Know, I, yeah. You know, I really believe that uh, I was fortunate uh, uh, back in the 1984, I think, or 80, I mean, 1994, I used to pump iron. I go in the gym, and it's all about strength and size of your muscles. Hmm. And so when you push a lot of weight, you have to tense up and you, you and, and, and you don't uh, focus on breathing, you just focus on lifting. Right. And I, so anyway, I, I ripped my shoulder uh, doing a bench press of 180 pounds. The, the, the place was going to slide down and I was going to try to grab it. Wow. And instead of just throwing it over my head and, yeah, and, and you, land on the floor. You were big, like you were, you know, not just a- Yeah, I was 170 pounds. Ooh, and a six, almost seven, 17 and a half inch arm. Yeah, I, I, I looked at a picture of mine when I was in the Philippines wearing a t-shirt and all the kids come up and said, hey, can I touch your bicep? <laughs> so, so but, but then when I hurt my shoulder, that was a transformation. And, and, and I'm a man of faith. So right at about five o'clock in the morning, uh, something said to me to, to go to the mall Take your two pound dumbbell and, 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 and just follow my instructions. And I did exactly that. And as walking the mall, at every turn, I stopped and I did a, a circular motion or something with that two pound weight. Yes. And I, I came back and I said, wait a minute, my shoulder is feeling much better. So I continued that. And pretty soon, I started doing. Uh, deep breathing with it. And today, I have already mastered uh, 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 the essence of deep breathing. So what you do, what I do is I take a, uh, sometime I, I do a 15 pound dumbbell, 
I, uh, I did a 15 pound dumbbell last, last night. But what I'm very conscious of is not to lift it, mm -hmm. not to lift it with muscle power, lift it with your breath, inhale and just relax and let it go. And, and, and I did that, I do that now all the time. Oh, it feels so good because I have COPD and other lung problems. And uh, if I do my exercise, which I, 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 I uh, also uh, walk with weights, I take one 10-pound dumbbell in my hand and I shift every, every 50 uh, steps. I would shift you know, it to the other and hand. And you're 92. And, and, and hear how you speak at 92. Yeah. Right? You're 92. Yeah. You're walking, you're deep breathing, you're moving with these weights. It's like you're, you're living your life. Like, you know, we want to live long, but what kind of life you want to live? And of course, things are going to age and change in our body. Uh, yes, of course. But this is something that, you know, if everybody was doing this when they're young, how great their life is when they age. Oh, they oh yeah. Yeah, I, uh, you know, you look at those Tai Chi guys. They're all in their 80s and 90s and still out there doing that slow motion stuff. Mm -hmm. And that inspired me. Yeah. And now I'm at my age, uh, I am able to do just about anything I want to do. Uh, uh, you know, uh, and I think the, it all starts with, with breathing. Breathing is an art. And, and, and I have a book called Breathe In and Breathe Out. And, and, uh, and a couple other uh, 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 books that people wrote and said that deep breathing uh, is like this. And I, I glean from those that information. And so when I lift, no matter how hard I lift, how, how heavy I lift, I don't, I don't tense up. I just let the breath. I inhale and, and lift, exhale, and relax. And it feels good, <laughs> I tell you. And, and so, so, so I don't have the shortness of breath, uh, but if I miss a couple of workouts, I do have a shortness of breath because my lung problem catch up with me. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really remarkable. And the first time that I did this with you, you came into New York City and you're at my studio yeah. and we're in the chair and I'm moving the weights and I'm deep breathing. And I'm like, well, I almost fell off the chair. And I'm like, what is that? And I realized it's <laughs> oxygen. Oh I yeah, yeah, and uh, I thought that was brilliant. I was I realized the power of that. And, you know, people will spend fortune of money on like oxygen machine these machines that you go in this machine. Uh, I had I had an oxygen machine. Yeah, I mean, it's, just, it's, it's sitting right over here. I haven't used it in thirty days. Yeah. I haven't used it in three months. Yeah, yeah. but it, but the fact is that we are the machine. Yeah, Everything we have yeah. right in us. That's right. And, yeah. and, and, and the fact that, you know, inhaling deeply with this oxygen helps the cells of the body regenerate. Exactly. So the oxygen and water are two things that help regenerate the body. And exactly. Uh, a lot of people don't know the simplicity of that. And that's the power. Yeah. You that's see. Yeah. yeah. So, but, that, but go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was going to say is, um, if you had any thoughts to share um, in conclusion with this segment, um, as far as Qi Fung, deep breathing, COVID, um, any of that, any other thoughts to share? Yeah, well, one of the wonderful things about deep breathing, you can do it anywhere. Mm -hmm. You're not like, you don't have to go to the gym to do it, you see. So you ride the bus, just slowly inhale and hold it and slowly exhale. And when you do exhale, let every muscle in your body be completely limp and relaxed. And I do that all day long. And, and uh, there's so many different ways of deep breathing. You know, you deep breathe and then you do the hard breath. You go inhale, you ha, huh, you see. And, and, uh, and then also too, Weight walking is good. You take a 10 pound dumbbell, carry it in your hand, like, like you can a suitcase, and you walk, walk with it. Yeah. And then that developed, uh, I fell, I had a couple of times. You see, my mind uh, is, uh, uh, is quicker than my body. Mm -hmm. And so I fell a couple of times. 
And fortunately, I didn't get it. I didn't hurt myself too bad. So now I realize what the problem is: the weight walking develop balance. Right. I'm very conscious of my steps when I'm carrying the weight in my left hand. Then I carry my weight in my right hand, and I do five thousand steps a day. That's amazing. And uh, that's why it is. It, uh, I'm starting. I, I don't want to go in the wheelchair. You know, first thing goes your legs. That's what the boxers used to say. That's what the boxing trainer said. Hey, the first thing don't go your legs. And when your legs are gone, you 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 will carry, your career is over. Right. And, and and same thing with 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 us as we get older. If if our legs are not working, uh, uh, we're back in a wheelchair. Right. And I I I don't want to be in a wheelchair. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no. you, you're doing amazing. And what, you know, it's like, um, you know, you're a living embodiment of what, you know, martial arts is about, um, Chi Fung, and, and the way that you integrate that in your life. Like, you lit, you practice what you preach. And I'm very grateful that uh, you're, you've taught me and uh, yeah. I get to have this in my life in a deep and meaningful way. And I'm teaching it to my school. Uh, it's, it's really been a great, great blessing. And, uh, is there any other words you might you have to share? No, that's it. I, I think that um, we have to live healthy. Mm -hmm. And the Trinity, I call it Trinity of Health. Number one, we have to do daily exercises. You can't do it. You can't just do uh, two times a week. Mm -hmm. Daily. Seven days a week. And, and uh, daily exercise. Number two, watch what you eat. Say with the, uh, I have a hamburger every once in a while, but I don't uh, live on it. I'm and, a uh, vegetarian, you know. Yeah, well, me, I'm, well, I'm down almost uh, there. Yeah, I have 33 food that I eat, and I, I pick, I pick among those every day, and it's made a difference in uh, in my life. Well, I mean, it's you think about it. We, in order to really feel good, you have to you know, remove toxic foods, um, you have to remove toxic relationships, and even the toxic words that we say to ourselves, you know, all of that, that's a whole other, we could do other segments on these things. Yeah. Uh, but the breath is our life. And if we connect to that breath, we connect to our soul, we connect to the deeper aspects of ourselves. And then there's the oxygen, which is a physical thing that science has proven. If we have more oxygen in our body, it will restore itself. It rejuvenates oh, yeah. itself. Yeah. So we're, yeah. getting, we're getting to that natural source of who we are. And, uh, and I want to say this to you. I want to thank you for teaching me and, uh, and also uh, handing me this, uh, this Chi Fung. And I, I, I'm deeply, deeply grateful um, for that. Do you have any words to say about that as far as your... Well, well I, you know, the reason I did this, I know that um, you believe in it. And uh, you will carry it on and share with others in, in the future. And, and that's why I'm happy to, that you're willing to accept that responsibility. And I'm going to share with you everything that I ever discovered. And you can sort it out and make it work for you or, and, and to teach it. And I, I discovered a lot of things while I'm, uh, while I'm in isolation here during the COVID. And of course, I'm coming out with a book on, uh, on you know, uh, the roadmap to uh, longevity. That's amazing. And, and it's going to be three things: uh, food, uh, exercise, uh, mental attitude. Mm -hmm. And because uh, uh, what your mind uh, conceive and believe, it can achieve. And and. and um, if you don't believe in something, if you have a negative thought, uh, it's uphill battle. Yes. And that's why I tell people, I said, uh, three things that undergird my, my, my life. One is I love uh, music. I'm not a singer, but uh, I, I found out my first uh, um, um, the song uh, that undergirds my faith is how great thou art. Mm -hmm. We have to acknowledge the greatness of God. 
And number two, the dream, the impossible dream. Uh, you got to dream. And, and, and third, once you dream the impossible dream, you climb every mountain. Action. First, you start with dreaming, and then you, you do the action. Those three songs has impacted my life. And, uh, but, but, but it boils down to, you know, go through all that, that breathing. You see the first thing, what happens when a baby comes to the world? They slap him on the butt and to get him to cry, right? Yes. That's, that's breathing, get him to breathe. The last thing that leaves his body before he dies is, is breathing, his breath. Yes. Because uh, Mindy right now is uh, doing a bass for a friend of uh, hers, and he used to play basketball, but he had a stroke, and he was dealing with that for a while. He lay down the other night and said and to go to sleep, and his son says, are you okay? He said, oh, I'm fine. And um, he lay down to, to, to sleep, and next morning he went to check for check on him, and he wasn't breathing. And and they find out he just had passed away during the night. Yeah. And, and see, so breath is life. Mm. Now on that and, note, on that note, I yeah, think okay. Note to, uh, to to close this, but I want to say thank you again because, like I said, the um, what I've learned with Chi Fong has uh, helped to save my life two times, one with parasitic pneumonia, one with COVID. And uh, I will proudly uh, carry this torch that you've taught to me and share it with as many people in the world um, always. And I thank you for that. Yeah, um, well, I want to thank you for being a recipient. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I thank you for being the recipient of all this. I this was not, you know, I was just happy to have the friendship. I didn't realize it'd be, you know, this would be handed down to me. But I yeah. that being said, and also to elaborate, when you say exercise every day, so people are watching, uh, Leo doesn't mean rigorous exercise every day. No, no, no. Deep, deep breathing uh, is an exercise. Going for a walk yeah. is an exercise. Uh, not sitting in a chair all day uh, is, is uh, a, if you want to sit in a chair, uh, exercise in a chair. Right, your body's meant to be moving a lot more than sitting. Exactly. Laying down, so we have to be moving a lot more. Well, uh, you but, see, like for instance, when you're in the office, you're typing in the office. The every every fifteen minutes, you should stand up and stretch. Sit down, stand up, and stretch ten times. Even having Just, a, even having a conversation. Look, me being Italian American. My hands are moving, so I've got movement even when I'm. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So it's like you got to keep the movement going, and uh, yeah, yeah. and most importantly, uh, it's the breath. And I want the to breath. That's right, Leo. Yeah, that's right. I want to yeah. thank you so much for this uh, segment with you. Okay, John. And uh, many more segments to come. Oh yeah, let me know whatever you yes. want to talk about. Uh, we we'll go right into it. We'll make yeah, that yeah. happen. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, John. Have a good day, okay? You too. I'm going to get back to my workout. <laughs>